Slantia. 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 Seaweed. So when you're looking at this one, the camera's at the bottom of the screen. So, uh... Yeah, no, I was watching yours in, uh... I don't know, we today? Oh, me and Curdy? Curdy, Curdy. Yeah, that was a couple nights ago. That was Friday night. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to get started. Are you videoing? Didn't tell me it was videoing. Oh, I'm, an, I'm an addict. See? I didn't know. I would have guessed. Oh, man, it's on camera. I would have guessed. Start it over. <laughs> I can edit it. <laughs> I wanted to get some, uh, I wanted to get some, uh, okay. funny stuff. Yeah, you know. Yeah. All right, folks, we're back again. Uh, your host, Kelly Sparks. Sparks. A.K.A. Redbeard, at Son of Thor 3 on Instagram. Um, today I'm going to do a scotch, and I've got my part-time co-host, me and Gene, here with me today. How are you doing? Um. Uh, we're going to review Highland Park Magnus. I haven't had it. It was given to me. It was a gift. And, uh, huh? Nice gift. Yeah, it's a nice gift. I got two of them. Uh, ooh, Best Buy. Kelly, remember to look? No, fuck that. Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and just get into it. I don't have my distiller notes pulled up, but it's a scotch, so I'm sure it's going to taste like scotch. Mm. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That only makes sense. I don't, I, on the back of the bottle, it, it talks about it's unapologetically bold, smoky, and undeniably Orcadian, which is the Orkney people, or the people from the Orkney Island. Uh, the single malt bears the soul of our Viking ancestors. That's cool and all, but you want to bottle this at 40% alcohol and then say this is for our Viking ancestors? I don't think the Vikings would be very happy. I mean, I think they'd want to drink something a little more hearty. Although, so too. well, yeah, because I mean, if you're a Viking, I mean, you mean, well, shit's difficult. I, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I mean, all Vikings drank back in the day was mead, and that was more or less like 15, 20 percent alcohol. Really, it's just like a really heavy beer, honey mead. I don't know anything about honey mead. Mm. I don't either. <laughs> it doesn't smell bad. What do you think? Initially, reminds me of scotch. It smells like scotch. Now let me go a little deeper. <clears throat> yeah, a little smoky. I don't smell any Vikings. No, no. doesn't smell like Vikings. Have you already tried it? Yeah. Oh. I get a little bit of uh, leather. Hints of leather. <clears throat> I was trying to spin it the wrong way. Right. Kind of makes you think of, uh, what was that leather shop over there off of 80? Oh, I can't remember that. Mm -hmm. Walk in there. Can't remember. Started with the T. It was a leather shop. Anyway, when you said that, that's what made me think of. Uh, when I take a taste, like you walk in there, you get you just taste the leather. I'm not really getting much else. I know the. I think the distiller app called for like some fruit notes and flowers and whatnot. But it's like all leather. You get anything? I mean, you know, it was a little, a little bit of the traditional scotch notes, I guess. Not already notes, but just scotch. I mean, it it's tastes, weak. Yeah, it's it's definitely weak. I mean, you can. It's like a. So it's a weak Viking scotch. <laughs> do, do better, Highland Park. Would I drink it? Yes. Would I buy it? Probably not. I mean, it's, it's okay. 
I mean, sorry, Magnus, or Highland Park. Uh, some of my favorite scotch. It's just kind of feels like an entry level scotch. It can be, yeah, uh, as a beginner scotch. Yeah. You know, like, how how would you care? How would you compare this to your Johnny Walker Black? It's more. It, to me, it's a, it, it honestly, it's a little more scotchy. This one is? than Johnny Walker Black. Yeah. But I mean, this is a single malt, correct? Yeah. Okay. Johnny Walker Black is blended, which it can be blended between single malts and single grains. Okay. So single grain is any other whiskey, any grain other than malt. Oh yeah. Other than malted malt barley. barley. Malted barley. <sighs> Information. I mean, it's like a. Yeah. I like your yeah a beginner scotch if you know you're not really into. It. Yeah, it definitely, it's not offensive at all. Not like some of your LaFroy's. Hard bed. Lack of It just kind of rolls off the tongue. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Magnus. And it's really, it's 40%. Yeah, 40% alcohol. I mean, it's, it's just an okay scotch. It's an okay. It really is. It's, it's it. an okay. I wonder what their purpose was for... I, know, I think they're. I think they're rebranding. Well, it could be their entry level. Now, do they have modeling. other scotches besides this? Yeah, they've got a twelve-year-old. They've got a fifteen-year-old. I know they got an eighteen-year-old. Um, okay. Highland so Park. Highland right. Park, yeah. Um, but it could just be their entry level. See, I'm not sure if I've had a Highland Park before. Have I? Have you? Do you? Mm, I don't think so. You want to try the Highland Park 12 or 15? Just maybe just, a, just out of curiosity to see, I mean, what are they, what is, what's their content? I mean, you got to realize also that was, that was, a, that was, a, was that a rhetorical question? <laughs> you know, it's my favorite. Yeah. Like my bourbons. They're just reused. Yeah. That's right. I mean, it's okay. This one's forty-three percent. So. Okay. So what's up with that? Why, why are they? Well, I mean, forty-three. Uh, yeah. You know. I mean, I think what's what's the what are the higher scotch proof wise? Because see, I, you know, I like the bang for my buck. You know, I'm gonna buy something. I want you know, I want fifty, fifty-five proof. I think most scotches are uh, most scotches will be bottled at forty three percent. Yeah. So, okay. Now, predominantly, the majority of the majority that. of all scotches, large majority of them, are bottled at forty three percent. And I think that's just the blendeds true. or the single malts. It doesn't matter. Single malts. Single malts. Single malts. Uh, a lot of the blendeds are forty percent, and that's just I think. That's the lowest you can take. That's the lowest alcohol content you can take a whiskey, and still call it a whiskey. If it's like thirty nine percent, you can't call it whiskey. I did not know that. Yeah, forty percent and above. And I would imagine a lot of it has to do with if it's forty percent whiskey, then it's sixty percent water. So if you had a barrel, right, right, and you empty that barrel, and it out of the barrel, it's a hundred and Let's just freeze them out 100%. Not 100%. 50%. Woo, I want some of that. 100 proof. <laughs> 100 proof. Like 100 proof. So they got to add X amount of water to that to bring it down. <laughs> right. That means that you have, let's say, 200 or you say 50 gallons at 100 proof. You want to get it down to 80 proof. You add water to it, next thing you know, you got 130 gallons or 120 gallons. So you increase the amount of liquid you actually had. And that might have that might be something to do with it. You get more liquid for your money just by adding water All right. before you bottle it. Well, I'm sure, you know, being a business, they definitely want to. Oh, this one's a little bit more peaty. Turn their 100 gallons into 130 gallons. Yeah, just with the. A little different nose. Mm -hmm. A little more. Uh, just 
still scotchy. Definitely a little more peaty. It's not like it doesn't have any smoke, but it, I can tell. It's not it's, really a lot. Of, not, no, was no, no smoke at all, but you can definitely tell it's peated. See, I'm still learning my peat. I mean, moss flavor. I, don't, I mean, it's, it's like. That, it's that earthiness that you get. Say, is that what? I, that's what I get. Like, so are you, you're saying, like, between bourbon, you taste, you take you a little sip of bourbon, you don't get any of that. There's a distinct flavor with the scotch, and then are, is that just the peat moss, or is it no, different? No, I think that's that's probably the barley. That you're getting. The, see, that's what I'm. That's the barley. Still trying to figure it out. Still trying to learn. So I think taste. barley barley uh, blends a different, obviously blends a different flavor profile to whiskey than corn does to bourbon and rye does to rye whiskey. Oh, whiskey. Uh, I feel like the barley has a closer flavor profile to rye than to bourbon just because of the grain and makes sense. And it's just I can I I guess I taste I've always told people like if you wanted to get in a scotch, start drinking rye whiskey first and then go to Irish whiskey and then go Step your way up, yeah. Really. Huh. Of course, I didn't do that, but I'm not. I'm your outlier. And it just Lafroy and Lagavulin like and Ardbeg just came naturally to me. I do like the 15 year old better than the mm -hmm. unapologetically bold, smoky mm -hmm. um, Magnus. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. I guess because of the peat, maybe. Could be. I don't know. <clears throat> you never know. No, I, I never know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they're not bad whiskeys. Uh, what do you think? Would you would you tell people to go out and purchase either one of these or uh, suggest it? You know, for I, I don't know the dollar amount. I mean, I don't know what they cost. Uh, they're probably not cheap. I'm a uh, no. Probably not. I, I think you can find better whiskeys for the same price point. I mean, if you're in a bind and pinch and a yeah. hurry, and, and they're out of everything else, and this shit's sitting on the shelf, I mean, grab it. It's not, I mean, it'll work. <laughs> somebody, if somebody gives you one, by all means, drink it. It is. And if it's a gift, drink it. All right. Uh, well, that's it. Uh, you guys have a good night. We're going to drink some more whiskey and. Take care. 12 people.